Hello and welcome again to our YouTube channel. In today's video from the Photoshop series, we are going to see a quick guide how to adjust our photos to make it perfect for our posts and for our social media. Maybe we took usually we took a photo like this one, and we expect it to be like this one, but our camera capture from the mobile or from the camera we are having didn't bring what we see by our eyes. So we are going to make it through Photoshop in just few strokes. We directly we will go to our background image which is this one. I will duplicate it using Control J. Then I will hide this one and while on the layer that I created I will go to filter, camera raw filter. That's one of the magics of the Photoshop. When on camera raw filter I will start here by making cycles between the before and after to, to see the two images at the same time. Then I will go directly to Auto Adjustments. This will give us the first base ground for the adjustments. So Auto. Now that's the base adjustment from Photoshop due to the algorithm. The enhancements it sees it needs to be done to this image. Then I will go to add on these adjustments done by Photoshop. So I'm going to increase the contrast a little bit. I'm going to increase the shadows. Shadows and highlights are the mid-tones between the whites and the blacks. So I'm going to increase the shadows a little bit, the whites and the blacks. I will increase the whites and decrease the blacks. This will make the details of my image pop up a little bit. After that, I will go to Vibrance, which will give us more lively colors. And I will increase it a little bit. And we are remaining with two small adjustments here, which is clarity and dehaze. They both work to improve the, uh, the, our images in case that we are having some environmental dust or fog on our images. We are going to enhance them a little bit. They will be giving a nice effect. Okay, there is another small trip he take, uh, tip here. You can go to detail from this icon. This will help you to adjust the noise. You can increase the noise reduction. If you are having some luminance or color noise reduction, you can decrease it from here. So. I will decrease a little bit the luminance reduction and the color reduction. Like this, I'm having a perfect image. You can see the difference between the before and this one is after and the before. Okay, now I need to add some artistic effect so my image is directly ready to be posted uh, on my social media. I will go to effects. I will add some vignetting effect or vignette effect as commercial it's called. So. Vignette effect, you can see here that it is in the middle. This amount is in the middle at zero. So I don't have any vignette effect. The vignette effect is to having a shade that is uh, fading away while you go outside from your image. So if I go to the black side, which is the dark one here, I see that settings are coming uh, adjustment. To understand these settings, I will go to the feather first, which is the feathering between the uh, outside corners. You can see that outside corners which are appearing here. And the central uh, of my image. So I will go to the feathering and I will make it completely zero. So this will make hard borders between the, uh, the the external of the image and the central of the image as I'm going to highlight. So we will keep it like this to see the, the other settings. The roundness, if I take the roundness completely to, to minus 100, it will turn to a rounded square. If I take it completely to 100, it will make a completely round circle. If I leave it here for uh, some moment and I go to the midpoint. Midpoint is the radius of the focal area or the cleared area in the middle. So if I go to increase it, decrease it like this, you can see that the circle is decreasing. If I increase it to the maximum, you can see the circle uh, increased too much. So I'll keep it somewhere in the middle and the roundness, I will make keep it also uh, in the middle. This roundness, you play with it based on the shape uh, of the focal. Uh, subject in your image. Okay, these highlights you can have a look to the top of the after effect here. You can see when I increase, I increase highlights the top of the after effect, the shadows which added to the corners are lightened up a little bit. Okay, like this I'm having a perfect image ready to be used on my social media directly. So I will hit OK. And I'm having my image ready. I like to give you one more trick here. If I come back to my filter, I come again to my camera row filter.
I split the image between the before and after. And after I made my own adjustments to the image, that's the base that I'm starting here. I'm going to hit Auto again. And now you can see that the, the after and the before, there is not much difference. This will give you indication that you had done some corrections in the right uh, direction. And you can keep this uh, end results. That's a good enhancement. I'm going to show one nice effect also here. If you go back to the effects, we had spoken about going to the black. What about going to the white side? If I go to the white side completely, you can see that my my borders are turning white and not uh, and not turning to the black side. You can do this. If you say okay, now we got a different effect for your image. If you do it on the original image, you can see it also in a different uh, way. Thank you for following so far. I hope you had learned. Uh, wealth of information. Now you can make your images directly ready in a few minutes uh, to be posted in your social media the way you like them. Uh, join our uh, YouTube channel, leave us some comments, uh, discuss about these effects and if you need to le learn something more you will find details about uh, our post, uh, about our these steps uh, in our blog post. You can see the, the link on the top here. Activate the bell. So you can receive uh, all our new tricks and uh, beginner's guides as they are issued. Thank you for following so far. See you in the coming videos.